very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so the last week signals some of them went really very well in profit other ones went really bad especially the gold and the USD GPY they went really bad and for that I personally apologize however that's how the market is and sometimes the analysis might not be correct so let's see now what happened for the euro USD uh, as we as we can see the euro USD kept its position right here as I said this support level kept the position as a support and the market has reversed indeed for 70 pips and those who have entered the signal are currently running in 71 pips of profit so now what's next with the euro USD now let me just zoom out so what we can notice on the left side if we look at the left guys we're having right here a previous resistance which was also a really strong support later so this support level or this support zone cannot be ignored uh, let me just draw the support zone like that just so we are clear uh, where we are right now in the market let me just uh, increase it a little bit because it is not as I want like that exactly perfect I think perfect I'm just trying to include the resistance zone as well so as I said that is the support zone so let's let's now zoom in again and see what is next gonna what's gonna happen next on the euro USD first of all let's use the Fibonacci retracement as we can see the pair is getting very close to a retracement 61.8 which is which is also gonna happen on the very same level of this resistance level this resistance most likely is gonna keep its position as a resistance not only that if we draw a resistance trend line as well check it out what we can expect now from the euro USD is it's gonna rise all the way hit exactly the same level of this resistance level which is also a 61.8 Fibonacci retracement and from that point we can expect from the pair to actually reverse and fall down all the way to hit that previous support level right here now of course I'm not gonna select this uh, much of pips as a target what I'm going to do is I'm gonna give you a sell signal for the euro USD and we can start sell the pair exactly right here at this point after it touch uh, the 61.8 retracement and we are going to set the same level of our entry as a take profit so let me just adju uh, adjust this one here I will make it a take profit level okay and for the sell signal we can rely as I said on that resistance level right here uh, that's gonna be con more convenient and better sell signal we can start shorting the euro USD on the level 1.10193 so hopefully uh, the pair is gonna uh, move as per this prediction and hopefully we're gonna make some good and decent profit out of it let's check right now the pound USD now the pound USD signal was given to start buying on this level however the pair just continued the rising and did not stop so now when exactly is the best time to start shorting the pound USD uh, I believe the answer is very simple it is exactly right here that is gonna be a really good uh, place to start shorting the pound USD we're having here this resistance level which was also a previous support most likely this is exactly where the pound USD is gonna reverse so we can expect from the pound USD to continue the rise a little bit and then from that point we can start shorting the pound USD and I'm gonna select this previous resistance level as our take profit level I don't think the pound USD need more analysis than that I think that is that is totally fine uh, let me just uh, set where we can start oh, where we can start shorting the pair just a second guys because I lost the line so let me just be sure of which level we gonna start shorting okay perfect that's perfectly fine actually no not not perfectly fine that is better yeah now it's a lot better so we can start shorting the pound USD after of almost 74 pips of the rise you can start uh, short on the level 1.26952 and keep your trade running let me just throw a Fibonacci retracement exactly until this level 
of right uh, this level right here so we can look for almost 374 pips of profit this is gonna be our take profit level guys on the level 1.23340 hopefully it's gonna be accurate and we're gonna make good profit out of it let's check right now the AUD USD the U AUD USD signal was very similar to the Euro USD and the pound USD I was expecting from the, from the pair to reverse and fall down on this previous support level retesting the broken resistance the trend line however the pair instead just continued the rise so what's next on the AUD USD let's move to the daily candles now on the daily candles we can see a very clear previous support level right here so that was a previous support which has been followed by this bearish breakout candle that's not enough let's look more to the left to find if there was a strong resistance on the very same level of that previous support sorry guys let me get rid of all of these lines so we will not get confused um, we are on the level 0 0.64633 let me just check on the left if there was any strong resistance I need to get rid of all these extra lines so I'm just looking here look at that now this is where the price is right now and as we can see guys we had here a previous resistance level and it was also a previous support and also it was a key support level not yet enough we need to see a strong resistance on the very same level now we are back uh, 15 years in the past and still I cannot find that a strong resistance however it was indeed a strong resistance here we can see that it was it has a it had a reversal of almost 166 pips so that means that we can expect from the AUD USD to reverse exactly on this previous support level so the AUD USD might continue rising for almost 27 or 30 pips before actually gonna start the fall and I think we can draw a trend line here so we can have a better uh, entry exactly like that exactly like that perfect so we can expect from the pair to rise for this level hitting this previous resistance trend line and then it's gonna fall all the way to hit this previous support level right here therefore um, I'm going to change the signal for the AUD USD. It's going to be for the short on the level 0 0.64633. Or you know something, maybe I need um, maybe I need to adjust a little bit more. Okay, that should be fine anyway. Yeah, that should be fine. The trade might go against you for almost 20 pips before it's going to be finally in good profit in my opinion. And I'm going to select a short term trade like that so we can look for 263 pips of profit this is gonna be our take profit level take profit on the level 0 0.62066 please remember guys keep in mind that the market is moving incredibly slow this week therefore please be patient when you are entering these trades it might be some time before you finally gonna be in profit let's check right now the USD GPY so the USD GPY is actually falling against my prediction uh, it was a mistake and I admit it so therefore now let's correct this and this analysis let's now switch to the daily candles so we can see where exactly we can expect from the USD GPY to actually reverse now if we look at the left we can see that we're having here a very strong key support level which was also a key support level right here as well and here and of course here as well so what we had right here is a support number one and right now the USD GPY seems on the attempt of support number two now keep in mind that is on daily candles go back to the four hour chart we can see that we already have a support number one and a support number two now as I as I'm saying always we never trust the support number three that doesn't mean that it never works it might work however but the thing is we don't really trust it therefore what I'm going to select for the USD GPY let me just select this one here as a reference let me just go back daily candles to check no that's not gonna be accurate like that yes I have selected the lowest bottom of this support level 
and the lowest level of the support as well I believe look at that fantastic actually I just saw this now look at that guys we are having right here on daily candles a support number one and we can expect from the USDGPY to fall down to this level exactly to the lowest uh, level of the support to create a support number two from that point we can start buying the USD GPY that's really good signal so uh, USD GPY if I'm not mistaken is gonna reverse right on that previous support level let me just draw a Fibonacci retracement just to be sure and yes it's exactly on the level 50 that's totally fine let me just draw uh, let me just tell you where we can start buying the pair on the level buy on 106.752 and we can expect the, from the pair to continue the rise all the way and just to be safe I'm gonna select this resistance here as my take profit level with almost 132 pips of profit this is the take profit level on 108.091 so hopefully it's gonna be accurate and we're gonna make some good profit out of it let's check right now the USD CAD so the USD CAD signal is running well as I said uh, the pair is falling right, right from that support from that resistance level sorry and we can see that previous support level has become the new resistance the signal last week uh, was for sell now for the USD CAD and it was almost on this level right here those who have entered the signal are running currently in between 70 to 75 pips of profit okay now what is next from the USD CAD let's check the daily candles and if I'm not mistaken we can ex oh okay if I'm not mistaken we can expect from the USD CAD to fall to this previous support level right here right like that and after hitting that previous support it's gonna continue the rise like a pullback to hit that previous resistance level right here and then from that point we're gonna see or gonna we have to wait on any price action indicating if we can start sh uh, shorting again and i think the usd cad is gonna uh, sorry the usd cad yes is gonna continue the fall right after this pullback to hit that previous resistance level right here however that's not yet clear until we see any good price action so I'm gonna select this level here as for the buy we can start buying the USD CAD on the level 1.37937 37937 correct as we can see my friends we're having right here a previous resistance which has become right here a support number one so we can expect from the USD CAD to continue the fall to hit support number two and then we're gonna start buying the pair please be extra careful when you are trying trading the USD CAD look at that small tail here do you see that wick here that wick here can cost you approximately 50 or 60 pips of loss so we, I, I have to be very careful uh, I don't have any option but to give you the buy order exactly on the very same level here so please guys be very wise and careful with your lot sizes uh, prepare that the trade might go against you for some time before actually be finally in profit so that is my analysis oh and the take profit level we're gonna select it as I said on this previous resistance uh, we are just gonna have to wait for the pullback if it's gonna occur on the level 1.40550 hopefully it's gonna be good signal and we're gonna make some good profit out of it let's check right now the USD CHF uh, USD CHF signal did not go as well also however um, we can expect on the left look at that here support level we can expect from the USD CHF to also actually reverse right from that support level so this support here after this bullish, uh, bullish breakout candle we can see that we had here a support number one and from the USD CHF I believe it's gonna hit the level of support number two and then it's gonna uh, reverse making the pullback and then hitting that previous support level and then we have to wait and see what will gonna happen most likely the pair is actually gonna continue the rise all the way to hit that previous resistance level like that after hitting that resistance level the pair might actually continue the fall what we are almost sure of 
that we're gonna witness a reversal right here after almost 20 pips uh, after hitting that support level so the signal for the USDCHF now is for the buy on 0 0.95745 and hopefully the pair is gonna respect this uh, analysis let me just be sure again let me draw a resistant perfect fantastic that is a support trend line as we can see uh, that is actually guys a fake breakout I don't consider it uh, to draw the, res the resistance trend line that's why I draw it from this point here to this uh, support trend line and therefore we can expect from the pair indeed to reverse exactly at this level so I'm gonna select this level here this previous resistance as your take profit level and it's gonna be on take profit on 0 0.9686 so hopefully it's gonna be a good signal now the last thing is gold which I believe so many people got upset about the signal it didn't work at all uh, the gold kept rising guys due to of, co due of course to the situation of the dollar and the situation of COVID-19 it's very much affected with the news about that so let's see what will gonna happen next now I switch to the daily to the weekly candles I just want to see on the left what we can expect from the gold now on the gold however what we can see on the weekly candles let me just draw that resistance line like that so as we can see on the weekly candles let me just zoom in and show you that on the weekly candles we can see that we had here a previous support level that's not S okay as a previous support level which has become also later a resistance number one now keep in mind we are on the weekly candles not daily guys so what we can see that the pair has already started the reversal right after hitting that previous resistance one so right now the gold is on the creation of a resistance number two let's now go back to the uh, four hour chart in my opinion and after seeing this price action uh, the gold seems to be already reversing right now from this level look at that the pair look at that guys I want to bring your attention to something here I have drawn that line on the weekly candles then after switching to the 4 hour chart look at that what we can notice here that the market did not close above that resistance line which I have drawn based on the weekly candles I swear I did not check this before recording it just happened front of you because I know how to draw these resistance trend lines very well therefore now after seeing this price action on the highest top level of that resistance we can now say that the gold is reversing and it's gonna fall down now it's up to you where we can start selling the gold actually because now the gold is on the bearish reversal and in my opinion it's gonna keep going all the way until it hit that previous resistance however of course we should give the signal for where we can start shorting the gold uh, the gold can be short actually right away however if I must give a signal and just to be sure that everyone is gonna be safe uh, what we can notice now on the 30 minute time frame guys that we are having here a previous resistance which has become here a support we can see the candle here that small price section indicating a possibility of a bullish reversal so we can expect from the gold on 30 minute time frame to go up all the way here hitting that previous resistance that resistance is gonna keep its position as a resistance and then from that point the gold is gonna fall down so that's gonna be the signal for the gold I'm gonna give the signal to start short the gold on the 1731.57 and let me change the take profit level guys I'm gonna make it right on this previous support level right here so it's gonna be the take profit on 1709.34 so we can expect approximately 221 pips of profit hopefully we're gonna get them all and really guys I really wish everyone will get uh, gonna make some big profits uh, from this analysis and hopefully this week is gonna end uh, with a good profit for everyone in the end uh, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching